hello. I'm back getting into mischief again. And my focal collage bit I found in my red and yellow drawer. And I just loved her face, but I certainly did love the colors surrounding her. And I thought it would be just too much fun to fill up this background in a similar way. Just having fun plopping, an art word, down some colors around her. And I was thinking that after the uh, frame of, on her is finished, I would put her down. And then I dug into my stash and I found these paper mats that I certainly had forgotten about. So I thought I would add, at the end, add these mats to it. And I don't know what choice I'll make. It will depend on what happens over here, whether I might use this lovely light pink, white. It looks a little stark to me now, but you cannot tell. Uh, after the colors are on, but you can certainly see that there is a difference in so-called white watercolor paper and this piece of white uh, embossed matting and this off-white. This one seems to be very easy on the eyes, but as I said, we'll find out as uh, towards the end. So that is my plan. I'm going to keep her over here out of harm's way because doesn't she have just the most wonderful uh, selection of colors that I can use to just dab on to my watercolor paper and just let's see what happens. Oh, this is going to be such fun. I don't know if I can stand it. Okay, so, and because of that, I chose my Schmanke collection of colors because of these wonderful options uh, that I thought might work out beautifully on this background. So, that being said, I'm going to uh, I'm going to begin playing. This is going to be uh, really quite mindless uh, enjoyment of color. I certainly will try to, um, I'm not going to try to copy this in any way, shape, or form, but I'm going to use that as an inspiration. And I'm certainly, if I stick within these colors, uh, I should have no option here. I will not be, have to worry about making mud. So, let's see. I have my Viva. And I have watered down my, I have watered down my paints. And I'm going to start the way I usually like to start. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of palette color here. Just to start introducing some color. Knowing full well that the matting will probably cover it. But... That's certainly all right. We can do that. Now this is the less grain side of this watercolor paper. So, I'm going to have some possibility of some hard edges here, but uh, that's all right because of the nature of the background on my collage piece. I'm not going to worry about too much about those edges. Just a little bit here and there. Now let's have a little... of this one. Now, I'm 
thinking this might be very nice. Yes, it will be. Yes, it will. Maybe a little of this one. Just be, oh my, isn't that delish? Uh, quite forgotten how lovely some of the colors, these schmanky colors are. This one should be, have a little bit more to say for itself. Yes, it does. It's a strong puppy. This one not get carried away with itself. And I'm wondering about this one. All right. Now I'm going to go back to working with some of these. See how light that one is. Very nice. Now I'm going to try to work in some pinkish color. I put them in too much, too close to the yellow, they're going to mix and become the same color that we see there, so. It's all right. We can, I can do that. Now, I'm going to be wanting some more red. Uh, Blue shades here. Let's have them now. edge up here with a little bit of blue. Alright. Now 
some definite green fun. a little bit of light blue is going to be needed here. <laughs> 